Welcome to Rust the Console Edition. Today I'm going to show you how to survive in the winter biome using both clothing and certain build base items that can give you healing, comfort, heat, light, all of those things. Let's start off with clothing first. One of the best items you can purchase from Outpost is the snow jacket and it gives you 17% protection against cold. The burlap, which you already know how to make, just gives you 7%. The same with boots uh, you can buy at Outpost, they give you 8%, but the burlap boots only give you 3. These gloves that you can make, 4 leather gloves I found in the world, just one point higher. The burlap head wrap is good at seven, but if you combine the baseball cap and the bandana mask, you'll get 17, seven versus 17. Uh, I found these trousers, you get plus eight and plus seven for burlap ones. So only one point difference. So the burlap stuff is a good start. Don't use the head wrap, combine the bandana and the baseball cap for better protection. Now all of this stuff also counts for uh, radiation, projectile, melee, and bite from animals. So let's do the best combination that I found. The trousers, the ball cap, the bandana, the leather gloves, the boots that you can buy from Outpost, and the snow coat you can also buy from Outpost. And those last two items, you can learn them. I think they're only like 20 scrap each to learn. And the amount of times I'm dying in the game, yeah, I'm going through this a lot. Uh, the boots do require leather, so you have to do a little bit of hunting. So let's go through each item. Here we go. You can see the stats. Now my total for cold weather, you can see kind of in the bottom left corner, I maxed out at 55%. That's fantastic. Now let's move on to items you can build at your base. One of the first items you have already auto learned is the campfire. And it costs 100 wood to make. It provides warmth and light and you can cook with it. And it also comes already inside the campfire uh, with 50 wood scraps already. So carrying one of these around, if you get too cold or you've gone into the water, definitely use one of these. So I'm here to test what comfort level each of the items I'm about to show you give. Now, the comfort level on the fi campfire, I keep saying fire pit, campfire is 50%. There you go. Now, when it's off, you can watch it on the right corner, it will drop off. So let's also try out a few other items. This is a rug I found in the world and it says it gives comfort. So we're gonna find out how much. I turned off the fire and it offers 25% comfort. Now the other really interesting thing about the comfort level, it's also um, slow healing process, very slow healing process. But if you're almost dead because you've fallen off an iceberg or something, which I might've done, um, you definitely want it. Uh, this can be placed on walls, floors and ceilings and it provides comfort when in close proximity. So you pretty much have to be standing on it. And it costs 100 cloth to make. There's also this table. Uh, it says it's the same thing, uh, 200 wood and some metal scraps. There's also this chair, wood and metal scraps. The same thing, a decorative item that provides comfort when in close proximity. So I don't want this rug to interfere. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick that up and get it out of the way as I want just that. Now the fire pit's off. No, nope. it can't get any close. Well, actually it could get closer. I was trying to see if I could stack the effects to get both to work. Now we maxed out at 50 and on the rug, it's not giving us the extra for being on top of the rug. So the effects do not stack, at least in terms of the campfire and the rug together. And you see, once you move one building foundation away, the comfort level drops right off. So you pretty much have to be on the same block. So the rug is doing nothing. Why waste a build thing or try to find it? So we can just go ahead and remove that one from our list and go on to the next item. Next up, we have the table. Let's see how much comfort level this gives. When we are in close proximity, we get 
10. Wow, that is a waste of space. 10. Wow, the fire pit is giving us 50, or campfire, sorry. Yeah, that is a useless item. I would definitely get rid of that one unless you're into role playing and putting more items on the table, but it takes up so much space in our tiny camp. So, nixing the table. Let's try the chair. Okay, in proximity, nothing. Let's have a seat and see how much comfort level the chair gives. Again, I found the plan out in the world and was kind of curious. I thought it was going to be purely decorative and nothing for proximity. Let's have a seat. This one I was extremely surprised about. I will not have a camp that does not have a chair. Okay, you're going to see that comfort level rise to 100%. So you put a chair in front of your uh, campfire, or we're going to show you next, the fireplace and stuff. You're getting a 100% comfort level. Now, what I need to test is see how quickly it can regenerate my health. So, yeah, I'll just uh, run over to that camp next door, and I'm going to just kind of throw myself off the building, get my health down just a hair, and uh, see what we get. Let me just first... Let's see if it stacks here, actually. I forgot to check that. Sorry about that. Let's flip on the fireplace and see if that increases. I have a feeling all of the comfort levels just kind of max out at 100. And I'm right in front of the campfire. Yes, 100 is your maximum comfort level, but you're getting heat and light, which, as you'll know later on, will help you build crops in cold weather. You definitely need heat and light in some cases there might be a few exceptions on the map get into that at a later time okay now let's see how quickly it will regenerate your health so we'll just head over to my neighbor's house here and jump up on top and i don't want to kill myself too let's hope it's a small Yep, it dropped by about 25%, so that's not too bad. Let's see how quickly sitting in the chair regenerates health. Now I know you guys all have bandages or the little stems or something, but just wanted to try something different. So let's have a seat in the chair. And here we go, with both the fire was going. Okay, here we go. Fire is off this time. Our comfort level is up to 100% in a moment. And I'm just keeping an eye on my health bar down there, the green bar. It's already gone up about two points. It's at 85 already. It's climbing pretty good. So I'll definitely use this. My plan is to take all of this gear and these items up to the uh, northern part of the map and actually try to build on an ice floe or iceberg and see if I can survive out there. Gotta challenge yourself in games. I'm not a big PvPer, so learning things about uh, clothing, camp items, anything of that sort, I love. I can hardly wait for private servers so I can go out and build and test things. This is the stone fireplace. We find these all over the place. And yes, you can see a face on the stone fireplace. I noticed that immediately. And it's like, now I can't unsee the face on the stone fireplace. Okay, let's see how much it costs to build a stone fireplace. Uh, wait, no, we're going to put wood inside first. Okay, let's load it up. Turn it on. I think it's 500 stone. Okay, so there you're getting a comfort level of... 75% plus light and heat. Very important up north. There you go. So that pretty much wraps it up. You have all of your clothing options, cer certain build items. I must say the uh, table and the rug were nose, definitely on the campfire at 50% and the fireplace at 75% and the chair at 100%. Keep them all close to you so you can easily access everything in your tiny camps or build spaces. Thanks so very much for watching this Rust video. Next up, I will show you my journey to build in the snow.